Lukaku, Barkley. Back to Davis. What a moment yes. from Davis. What a goal. Hey, what shall we order for dinner? Hmm. How about the place where we went last week? That's a good idea. Let me check. But I can't find the place. Let's go there then. I'm too tired. Let's order somewhere else. How about the place where we went last week? That's a good idea. Let me check. Hey, I placed the order. Do you want to know how to create an app or a website like this for your restaurant? Then keep watching this video. Hi guys, today we are going to see how you can create a food ordering website using WordPress. Now let's say you have a restaurant and you want to create a website for your restaurant so that you can take online orders from your customers and you can deliver those orders to your customer's location. You can do that by watching this video. So after watching this video, you will be able to create a food ordering website like this where you can list your food items and when a customer visits your website, they can order any food they want just by clicking order. Now once they fill the address details, they can choose when they want to receive the order. Now if they want to place the order, they can use this payment method to pay you and place the order. Okay, so once someone orders food on your website, you will receive a mail to your inbox like this. And here you can see the order details of your customer. Next, we will also see how you can deliver orders to your customers by assigning a delivery person and they'll deliver the food. We will also see how you can add a location tracking feature on your website like this so that the delivery person can easily find your customer's location. And it will also help your customers know where the order is. And we will also see how you can make this website as an app like this so that it will be easy for your customers to place order. And you can also easily customize your site to any style you want just by using drag and drop. Okay, so having a food ordering website can help you get more customers and you can also make it quick and easy for your customers to order food online. Also, a food ordering website will help you build and improve your brand image. So make sure you watch this video till the end to learn how to create one. So let's get started. I'm Brian from Website Learners and let's start creating a food ordering website. So to create a food ordering website, we are going to do four parts. The first part is to launch your food ordering website. So to launch your website, just click the link below this video and it'll take you to this website called makeawp.com where you will find the food ordering website. Now to see how the site looks, just click demo and here you can see the complete food ordering website that we are going to launch. Okay, now to get this food ordering website, just click launch site. Then enter your details and click next. Now enter your payment details and click sign up now. So now we have successfully purchased the website. Now to launch our site, click launch new site and it will take you to this page. Now here, enter the website address that you want. I am going to enter delicious food and now your website address will be deliciousfood.makewp.com this is the address which people will visit to reach your site and as you can see our food ordering website has already been selected so just scroll down and click launch new website now if you click visit you can see that our brand new website has been launched now this is just a temporary link to your site. You can easily change this to your own .com domain. We'll see how you can do that later in this video. Okay, once you have launched your site, we can now go to the next step which is to purchase the Foodbook plugin. Now in Make a WP, 
you will be getting the food book theme which has the entire website setup and the hosting now to place the food order on our site and make the site work properly we need to get the plugin license separately this plugin will take care of the food ordering process and the delivery of the food on our website so to purchase the plugin go to the video you're watching right now and click the link in the description and it will take you to this page so to get the plugin just click add to cart and the plugin will be added to cart now click go to checkout and it will ask you to create an account you can fill up these details or you can also use a google account i am going to use my google account let's click continue with google and then choose your account now to get the plugin select the payment method you want i am going to use my card now enter the card details and click pay securely this is a one time payment and you don't need to renew it every year so now we have successfully made the payment once you have purchased the plugin next we need to activate it so to do that let's go to make it wp click admin and it will take you to your wordpress dashboard this is the place where you can control your entire website now to activate the plugin go to food book licensing and here we need to enter the license key now to get the license key let's go to this plugin page click here and then click downloads now go to download and click here and the license key will be downloaded now let's open the document and as you can see this is the license key so let's copy this license key go back to your dashboard and paste it here now here enter the email address which you used to buy the plugin once you are done click activate here you can see that the license is activated and we have a complete food ordering website so let's go to our site and click refresh you can see that all the features are added to our site now if we click on food and click order now on any product here you can choose the quantity you want and add the product to the cart now click check out here you can give your details and place the order so now we have launched a complete food ordering website now if we go to food you can see that we have the sample food items now instead of this how do you add your own food items here next let's go to the second part of this tutorial where we see how you can add your own food items to your website once you add your own food items to your site your customers will be able to order what they want so to add your food items we are going to do two steps the first step is to delete the sample food items so to delete them let's click products and here you can see the sample food items which we have on our site now to delete them just click here to select all the items then click here and select move to trash now if we click apply you can see that all the sample food items have been deleted so now if we go to our site and click refresh you can see that the sample food items have been removed and we can now add our food items once you have deleted the sample food items we can now go to step 2 which is to add your food product so to add your food product just go back to your dashboard click add new and it will take you to this page now to add your food product all you have to do is enter your product name here i am going to enter 
chicken biryani. Now here, enter the product's description. And then enter the price of your product. Once you're done, now to add the images of your food product, just click set product image and drag an image from your computer and drop it here. As you can see, the image has been added. Once you've added the image, click publish. And now we have successfully added the food items to our site. Now if we go to our site and click refresh, you can see that we have got the food item which we just added. Okay, in the same way, you can add any number of food items you want. Once you have added your food item, now here you can see that we have the product price in rupees. Now instead of this currency, what if you want to have a different currency? So next, let's see how you can change this currency. To change the currency, let's go to our dashboard. Then go to WooCommerce and click Settings. Now scroll down and here you will find the currency option. Now if you click here, you can see all the currencies that are available. So just select the currency you want and click Save Changes. So this is how you can change the currency. Okay, let's say a customer wants to order a fruit product on your site. Now if they go to your site and click Order Now on a product, and click add to cart. Now if they click checkout, it will ask them to create an account. So if they fill up these details and click sign up, they will get this page. Here they can enter their billing details. But here you can see that there is no payment method available. So now to allow customers to make payments on your site and order food, we need to set up a payment method. So next, let's see how you can set up your payment method on your website. So to set it up, we are going to do three steps. The first step is to create an account in Razorpay. So to create an account, just go to the video you're watching right now. Now click this link and it'll take you to this site. Now click sign up here and here you need to enter your email address to create your account. Or you can also use your Google account to create an account in Razorpay. I'm going to use my Google account. So click sign up with Google and choose your account. Now here you need to select whether your business is registered or not. So if your business is registered, you can select the type from here. But if you haven't registered your business, you can select this. I'm going to select this. Now enter your name and contact number here. Then click next and it will take you to the Razorpay dashboard. So now we have successfully created an account in Razorpay. Once you've created your account, we can now go to step 2 which is to activate your account. Now in order to accept payments from your customers, first you need to activate your Razorpay account. So to activate the account, just click activate your account and you will get this KYC form. Now to complete activating your account, you need to fill up these details and submit this form. So let's fill up these details. Now as you can see, we have selected our business type. Now click here and select the business category. I am going to select my category as food and beverage. Then here you need to choose the subcategory as online food ordering. And finally, you need to enter the description of your business. Once you have done that, you need to choose how would you like to accept payments from your customers. If you want to accept payments without your website, you can select this. Or if you want to accept payments on your website, you can select this. I am going to keep this selected. And then here, you need to enter your website's URL. So to get the URL, let's go to our website. Now copy this URL till here. Then go back and paste it here. Once you have done that, click save and next. 
Now here you need to enter your business details. So first enter your PAN number here and then enter your name which is given in your PAN card. Now enter the name of your business. I'm going to enter my website name and then enter your address here. Once you have filled in all these details, click submit and verify. And you will get this message. Now in order to accept payments from your customers, you need to complete this KYC. So to complete it, let's click complete KYC. Now here you need to enter your bank details where you want to receive your payments. So let's enter our details here. Now when a customer makes a payment on your site, you will receive that payment to this bank account. Once you've entered the details, just click save and next. And finally, you need to give your other details as proof. So just click here. Enter your 12 digit Aadhaar number and then enter the CAPTCHA as shown. Now click submit and get OTP. Now you will receive an OTP on your registered mobile number. Now just enter it here and just click submit form. Now here click on the checkbox and again click submit form. So now we have successfully submitted the KYC form. Once you have submitted the form, it will be verified within 3 to 4 working days. So after 4 days, if we go back to our account, you can see that our ASAP account has been activated. So now you will be able to receive payments from your customers and your amount will be transferred to your bank account directly. Okay, once you have activated your account, we can now go to the final step of setting up the payment which is to connect this account with your website. Now to let your customers make payments on your site, you need to connect your Razorpay account with your website. So to connect your account, let's go to our dashboard, then go to WooCommerce and click Settings. Now go to Payments, here enable Razorpay and click on Setup and it will take you to this page. Now to connect the Razorpay account with your website, enable this option. Then you need to enter these details. So to get these details, let's go to our Razorpay account. Click settings. Now go to API keys. And click generate live key. As you can see, we have got the details which we want. Now you need to copy these details and paste them on your site. So first, let's copy this one and paste it here. Now let's copy this and paste it here. Once you've entered these details, just scroll down and click save changes. Now as soon as you click save changes, your Razorpay account will be connected to your website. So now your customers will be able to make payments on your site using Razorpay. Now if we go back to our customers checkout page, you can see that the payment is not available now. Now if we click refresh, you can see that Razorpay payment has been added and your customers can make payments on your site. Now let's fill up these details. Here your customer can choose when they want to receive the ordered food. So let's click here and choose the time. Now if they click place order, you can see that they have got different options to make the payment. So let's say they want to make the payment with card. They can just click on it, enter their card details and then click pay. So now you can see that the payment has been made successfully and the order has been placed. Okay, now the customers can track the orders by clicking here and it will take you to their dashboard. Okay, so this is how your customer can place an order and make payments on your site. Once a customer places an order, how will you know it? Now as soon as someone places an order on your site, you will get email notifications on your inbox. So if we go to our inbox, 
you can see that we have received two emails. The first email is from Razorpay, and the second one is from WordPress. Now, if we open the first email from Razorpay, you can see all the details of the payment. Within three days, this amount will be transferred to our bank account. Now, if we go back and open the second email from WordPress, you can see the details of the order. Okay, you can also see the orders from your dashboard. So let's go to our WordPress dashboard. Go to food book and click orders. Here you can see the orders which you have received. Now if you click view details, you can see the details of the order and the billing details. So once you get the order, here you can see the status of the order. So let's select on the way. As you can see, your tracking status has been changed. Now if the customer checks their inbox, you can see that they received an email. If they click on it, you can see that they received an update about the order status. Now if they go back to orders on your website and click refresh, they can also see their update from here. This is how you can know when someone places an order on your site. Now you know how someone can place an order on your site. Next, let's see how you can make this website as an app on a mobile, like this, so that your customers can easily place the order from their mobile. To do that, click on Google Chrome. Let's open the site on mobile. Now click on the three dots and click Add to Home screen. Here, enter the site's name and click Add. Then again click Add. And as you can see, we have got a shortcut to our site. Now if you click on this icon, it will take you to your site. As you can see, we have got our exact site in mobile view. Now let's see how your customer can place an order on their mobile. Now to place the order, just scroll down and click order now on the food. Here you can select the quantity and click add to cart. Now click checkout. Here enter the billing details. They can choose when they want to receive the order. Choose the payment, then click place order and the order will be placed successfully. So this is how someone can place an order on your site using mobile. Okay, now when a customer places an order, how do you deliver their food? So we need someone to deliver the food to our customers. So next, let's see how you can assign a person to deliver the food. So to do that, all you have to do is, let's go back to our dashboard, then click users and click all users. Now click add new. And here you can enter the details of the delivery person. Now click here and assign the role as delivery boy. Once you're done, click add new user. Here you can see that a new delivery person has been added. In the same way, you can add as many delivery persons as you want. Now if the delivery person goes to the inbox, you can see that they have received an email. So let's open it. Here they can see the username. Now they can click on this link and set their account password. And they can log into their account. Once they log in, this is how the delivery person's dashboard looks like. Once you've added the delivery person, now let's see how you can assign an order to the delivery person. So to do that, let's go to our dashboard and click food book and click orders. Now click on view details on the order we received. Now click here and you can see the delivery person you have added. So select the delivery person and click assign. So this order gets assigned to him and the delivery person will get a notification. Now if the delivery person goes to their dashboard, you can see that they have received the order. And if they click view details, they can see the complete status of the order and the location of delivery. So this is how you can assign a person for delivering the food. Now if you see here, we have got the address details like this. Instead of this, 
what if you want to get the location on a map like this? You can do that by adding a tracking feature to your website. Next, let's go to part 3 of this tutorial which is to add a location tracking feature to your website. So to do that, let's go to our WordPress dashboard. Now go to food book and click settings. And click location settings. Now to enable the location tracking on our site, we need to get the Google Maps API key and enter it here. So to get the API key, just go to your browser, search for Google Cloud Console. Now click on the first link and it will take you to this site. Now go to billing and click add billing account. Here you need to give your information. So choose your country and choose the type of business. Then click this box and click continue. Now it will ask you for your contact information. So enter your mobile number and click send code. Now if you check your mobile, you would have received the verification code. So enter the code and click verify. Now click here and select your account type. I am going to choose individual and it will ask for your card details. Now as you can see here, these details will be used for your verification and you won't be charged until the free trial ends. So let's enter our card details. Then click here. Now if you click unregistered individual, once you're done, click start free trial. And here you need to enter the security code for your card. Once you're done, click continue and click start free trial. So now we have successfully activated the free trial on Google Cloud. Now click create project. Now enter the name you want. I'm going to enter Google Maps API and click create. Now to get the Google Maps API key, click here and go to APIs and services. Now select library and it will take you to this page where you will find the APIs for Google Maps. So to get the API key, we need to enable these two APIs. So let's click on Maps JavaScript API and click enable. Now go back, click on the places API and click enable. Once the APIs are enabled, click Credentials, then click Create Credentials and select API Key. So now we have got a Google Maps API Key. Once you have got the API Key, now to enable the location tracking on your site, we need to add this key to our website. So let's copy the API Key, go back to your dashboard and paste it here. Once you're done, scroll down and click save settings. Now here you need to add the restaurant's location. I'm going to select my location. Now let's say you want to deliver only to a particular distance. You can do that by adding the distance here. I'm going to enter 5 km. This means when someone places an order, which is away 5 km from your location, they will get a message like this. Once you're done, click save settings. Now we have successfully enabled Google Maps services on our site. So to see how it works, let's try to place an order as a customer. So let's go back to our site, click order now. And this opens. Now let's click add to cart and click checkout. Here, fill up these details and click login. Now enter all these details 
and click place an order. You can see that they have got different options to make their payment. So let's say they want to make the payment with a card. They can just click on it. Enter their card details. And then click pay. So now you can see that the payment has been made successfully and you can see that the order has been successfully placed. Okay. Once the order is placed, let's go to our admin dashboard, go to orders and here you can see the orders. So let's click view details and change the order status as on the way. Then click here and choose the delivery person and click assign. Now you can see that the order has been assigned to the delivery person. Now if the delivery person checks his account, you can see that he has received the order and if they click view details, they can see all the order details and once they scroll down, here they can see that they have got the location on the map and if they click here, you can see that it shows the direction from the shop to the customer's location. Now they will get the food from us and deliver it to the customer. Once the delivery person delivers the order to the customer, they can click here to complete the order. So now you know how a customer places an order and how you can deliver that to the customer. Okay. Now while placing the order, the customer has to type the address manually. Instead of that, what if you want to autofill the address details to your customers without entering it manually? You can do that easily by enabling the autofilling feature. By enabling this, we will get the exact location of the customer which will make it easier for the delivery person to deliver the food. Now to enable the autofilling feature, you need the Google API keys. So let's go to our WordPress dashboard, then go to food book, click on settings, then go to location settings and copy this Google API key. Now go to WooCommerce and click auto complete checkout address. and paste the Google API key here. Once you're done, click save changes. Now the auto filling option will be enabled on your site. To check that, let's go to our checkout page. Now if the customer tries to enter their address, you can see that we have got the address suggestions. Now the customer can select the address from here and proceed with the order. Okay. This is how you can autofill the address details of your customers without entering it manually. Next, let's see how you can add extra food options to your customers. Now let's say when a customer orders a food product, you can add extra food options like this along with the order which the customer might like. So to create an add-on for your food product like this, let's go to our WordPress dashboard, then go to products. Now click on the product and scroll down. Here click on add features and click add group. Now give a name for your section. I am going to enter extras. Now here you can add the add-on which you want to give and its price. Now I am going to add an egg and its price as 10. Now to add another add-on, just click add, enter the name and its price. Once you are done, just click update. Now let's go to our site and refresh this page. They can see the add-ons which they have created. Now if they want to add this to their order, they can just select it and it will be added to their cart. Okay. Now here you can see that our website address ends with makeawp.com. Now instead of this, what if you want your website to have a simple address like yourwebsitename.com which looks more professional. You can do that by getting your own domain name for your website. So to do that, let's go to the final part of this video which is to get a custom domain for your website. So to get your own domain name, just click the link below this video and it will take you to webspacekit.com where you can get a domain for your website. Now here, enter the name you want for your website. I am going to enter deliciousfood.com now if you click search, 
you can see that this domain name is available. Now to get this domain name for your website, just click add to cart and then click continue. Now it will ask you to select a hosting plan. As we already have hosting for our site on MakeAWP, let's click skip and it will take you to this cart page. Now here you can see that we are getting our domain for one year and after one year, you need to renew your domain to keep using it. So to get this domain, let's fill up these details. Now choose your payment method. Now enter your payment details. And click order now. So now we successfully made the payment. And if you click continue to client area, you can see the domain name which we had purchased. Okay, so once you've got your domain, now how do you connect this domain with your website? So to connect this domain, we are going to do two steps. The first step is to add this domain to your website. So to add this domain, let's go to makeawp.com and click domains. And here, you need to enter the domain name which you have purchased. So I'm going to enter deliciousfood.com. Once you've entered your domain name, let's go to the final step which is to add this IP address to your domain. So to add it, let's go to this tab and then click domains. Now select the domain which you have purchased and then click manage DNS. Now next to the A record, we need to add an IP address which is shown here. So let's go back to this page. Copy this IP address. Then come back to this tab and paste it here. Once you're done, click save changes. Now to connect the domain, let's go back to makeawp and click connect domain. So now we have successfully connected our new domain name with our website. So to check it, let's open a new tab and type our new domain name. Now if we press enter, you can see that we've successfully connected our domain and we've got a food ordering website which we just created. So now our customers can just go to your domain name to access your site and place orders easily. So this is how you can get your own domain name for your website. Okay, next, let's see how you can edit the content of your website. So to edit the content of your site, first, let's go to the page which we want to edit. Since I want to edit the homepage, I'm going to go to that page. Now click edit with Elementor and it will take you to this editing section where you can edit any part of the page. Now let's say you want to change this text. All you have to do is just select the text and enter your own text. In the same way, you can change any text you want on this page. Now to change this image, just click on it. Now click here. and drag and drop the image from your computer. As you can see, the image has been changed. In the same way, you can change any image on this page. Once you've made all the changes, click update and your changes will be saved. Now if we go back to our site and click refresh, you can see that our site has been updated with the changes we made. Now let's say you want to change this logo. So to change it, let's click customize. Then click header. And click header nav bar. Now you can see the default logo which is here on our site. So to change it, first let's delete the logo. Now click on upload. Then drag your logo and drop it here. Once you're done, click publish. 
So to check it, let's go back to our site and click refresh. You can see that we have successfully changed the logo. So this is how you can edit the contents of your site. Okay, so that's it guys. This is how you can make a food ordering website using WordPress. Now if you're ready to make your own food ordering website, just click the link below this video and it will take you to the Make a WP page where you can launch your site and start building a food ordering website. Also make sure you click the subscribe button to see more videos from us. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye bye.